New show, new venue, new date has been the message and uh, we think looking at the visitor figures we've, we've got it right. This is the first year in 70 that we've moved the trade show indoors so it's been uh, a big, big decision on behalf of the IAG but we believe the right one. Lots of people here, lots of interest in our product and enthusiasm around, which is, which is great to see. So from here, early days, but looks like it's going to be a good show. We've got product pitches going on, which is a three minute per pitch session. So quick fire sessions to get the latest innovations in the products that are around the show. Lots of people here buying products for pesticides and I wanted the opportunity to tell them that they need to do some training, they need to take a qualification, they need to get a nationally recognised awarding body behind that qualification and training so they can go and buy their pesticides and have the right uh, qualification certificate to do so. We've got uh, debates going on about the future of parks and, and uh, obviously the birthplace of, of recreation. Um, we've got debates going on with governing bodies of sport and how they're going to invest in uh, the turf industry in the next five years. What I spoke about today was the importance of, of natural turf pitches to the game um, and the fact that the FA is investing in both natural turf pitches as well as 3G pitches. What we aim to do is improve 2,000 plus uh, natural turf pitches over the next three to five years um, and that, that figure will keep growing. So there's a cornucopia really of, of uh, presentations, speakers, panel debates, discussions uh, with, we hope, a good variety that attracts a lot of people into the show as well. When the IOG announced that they were going to uh, hold a young groundsman's conference, we decided that we wanted to be involved and since then we've signed a three-year deal for us to be a long-term sponsor of what we feel is, is, is a major initiative by the IOG in terms of the education of young groundsmen who quite frankly are the future of tomorrow. We really want to really encourage as many young people uh, into the industry as possible and really highlight it as a career path uh, to young people, both students, uh, both people already in full-time jobs who may be looking for a career change. The big highlight tonight is the IOG Industry Awards, uh, which is being held at the Hilton Metropole. I understand that there's going to be almost 600 uh, sitting down. Uh, it really is the great and the good, the who's who of the industry. Ian Dala of Cambridge United. I think the whole day has been incredible, and obviously being a winner as well has topped it right off. And the winner is Lucas Senefontos. I can't tell you. I've got this award. We're not Man City, we're not Everton, we're a grassroots football club. It's amazing. And I've come to the show to uh, get an update on new products and also networking. And uh, I was very impressed with this, the seminar programme and I hope to get, go to about three or four seminars during the course of the day. What I wanted to get across to the audience this morning was that we need to seize the opportunity that the Rugby World Cup has presented us with and to make sure that all the people that come to our game, whether they're new, whether they're returning players, are playing on pitches that give them a great quality of experience. We're really pleased with the turnout. It's, it's a vast range of product that you see in front of you, from machinery to landscaping to play to aggregates. Uh, to uh, GPS line markers, um, to just about everything to do with the turf industry. Uh, even the top Premier League grounds with uh, the new hybrid pitches, they're represented here in this room today. I've been excited to see that we've got municipalities here, we've got municipal contractors here, we've got lots of private contractors here. So the customers that we want to see, definitely. I'm actually coming up for the two days because I want to be able to spend the time to actually go around and absorb it all. Uh, as I've wanted to come for a number of years but not been able to because of commitments. Every show is only as good as the visitors who turn out so um, we'd like to say first and foremost a big thank you to all the visitors who've made the journey today from all over the country making it a truly national show and we'll see everybody back here in 2016 with an even bigger show.